how to build and sell digital products online in 2025 hey guys this is shayan and in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how you can build your own digital products and you can sell them for payments or even for free that's up to you and you can collect payments via the same website as well and everything can be done on a wordpress website the best part all of this can be done for you as well i'll show you a trick by which you can get this store implemented right inside your custom domain so that you can make money from it so if that sounds interesting to you then please stick on with me till the end of this tutorial because this is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial where i'll show you exactly how you can build your own digital products and you can sell them on your own website and you can collect the payments as well so let's jump over to my laptop and let's start but before that if you have not subscribed to this channel as yet then please go ahead and do that because in this very channel you get this kind of videos that can help you make money online so without further ado let's jump over to my laptop and let's start hey welcome to this tutorial so this is going to be a business in box kind of thing that i'm going to show you now in here you can build your digital products and you can sell them as well the best part you don't need to even know wordpress for this so that is the biggest catch over here now i'm going to show you step by step how to do this all and then i'll be also telling you a couple of secret things so stay tuned till the end of it don't skip any part of it right so the first step that you need to do is head over to your hosting for me it's hosting for you it can be anything right and then you can create your own domain or you can create a subdomain so for that we just need to go over to this manage click on that and within manage we can scroll down over here on the left hand side we can find domains now just click on domains and in here you can just enter your subdomain name now i'm giving it a name like gpt store and then i'm creating a subfolder for the installation once this is done i'll click on create and boom you can see the subdomain has been created successfully now it comes to our second step which is installing wordpress onto this subdomain so for that we will go for website and under it auto installer and there is a one click wordpress installer as you can see over here so you can just come over here and click on wordpress and in here you can just go ahead and enter the details of your website like the website title i'll give it gpt store and then you can give your administrative email administrative username and your password right so let me quickly type in now these username and password would be used to log in then you should go in the advanced section and in here let's choose the subdomain that we have so now we are going to click on next and in here as you can see it's coming the wordpress version so you can select that and then there is the language so it's automatically done so just click on install and one click install would actually install wordpress into your site now this should be a blank site right now so let's go ahead and check out how it looks like so let's go over to visit site and there you can see it's a blank slide but it means wordpress has been installed successfully this is the business in a box thing that i was saying i'm going to give you up a backup file remember you can actually install that backup and you can set up your own digital store so there are two ways to get this backup file which i'm going to tell you right within this video so don't skip any part of it but this is the way in which you need to actually restore the backup so the step three starts here which is restoring the backup so for that we need to upload install a plugin first the plugin is called wp vivid as you can see we just need to activate it and once activated you can just come over here and within the plugin you can see the plugin has been selected and in here we have a thing called backup and restore right and within that we have a thing called upload now in here we are going to upload the backup file that we have so let's do that and click on upload now you can see the backup is being uploaded as you can see over here five percent six percent seven percent so let's wait until the backup is totally uploaded and you can see the progress over here it's almost 25 percent so we need to wait a little more so as you can see now the backup has been uploaded right now you can see over here it has got everything done now what we want to do over here is that we want to click on restore as soon as we click on restore this backup file would be restored in this website right that subdomain that we created so just click on restore again 
and click on continue and boom there you can see the restoration process has started so let's wait again so as you can see it's currently 21 percent completed so let's wait and boom you can see restoration has been completed successfully so this is the message that you would see now you can update the plugins and themes so for that we have a user id and password i am using that to log in don't worry you will get all of these so don't worry about this right so i'm logging inside of it right now right and there we go we have logged in now it's time for us to update the plugins and the theme so for that we'll go inside the plugin and install and uh, under the install plugin we have these uh plugins that require update you can see this right like this one requires an update so click on update now and boom your plugins would be up to date right so that's how it works now once this is done once all your plugins and themes are updated you need to actually change the username and password because uh, what we provided was the de default one right so what you can do is that you can just come over to users and then you can go over to the admin user click on edit and inside of it you can see over here you can even change the username right i am changing it to my name and clicking on save and then you can also go ahead and and change the user email as well so i've given my email so that whenever there is a problem i can restore it i can give it a nickname and then i can also set the password right so we can change the profile picture as well if you want to have your own picture over here you can do that now let's go over to set new password and in here i'm just giving it a password over here it's blurred for security reason but i've given the password and click on update profile and as you can see everything has been updated only except my email id because as you can see it's telling it will send an email to my new email from where i need to confirm so let's go over to my email and in here i need to just click on this to confirm the email change and boom it's done right so now if we go ahead and if we change the email and click on update profile you would see we are getting, going to get it done so that's how it's done the next thing is admin email change now you can do this this is up to you but um, this is essential because if in future something uh, happens to your website you can get hold of this admin email right so you just need to come over settings and in there you can go over to general and then you can find this administration email address just change it to your email and click on save changes and boom you are done again you need to just confirm it from your email id just the way we did it for the previous one and as you can see over here currently the administration email is star shandra that is my email right so that's done now it's time for the next step that we have and this is the url settings that is the post settings or the new product settings what url they will have for that we need to go over to settings then permalinks and within permalinks we are going to set the post name as this format because this is more seo friendly so that's why we are going to do that so once this step is done we would just go over to our next step which is changing the from email address within woocommerce so for that we'll go inside woocommerce settings and on the woocommerce plugin settings we can find the thing called emails as you can see click on that and within that you can see from where the emails are being sent right for each of the things like new order field order custom order whatever pause refund order whatever you have so you can go ahead and make the change you can see over here there is a from address over here now in here you can go ahead and change it to your email address whatever you want to right so you can give it at your custom domain name as well so that's totally up to you so now once this is done we'll click on save change and boom it has been done so now if we visit the site just look at this this is awesome now remember this site was built as soon as we actually restored the backup but all the other things that i did was actually to make sure that this website runs smoothly perfectly the emails are being sent from your address there is a proper security of the website that you have built all of that was all of those steps were just ensuring that right now look at the kind of website that we have just look at the look and feel of it it looks so professional it has different pages like there's a shop page as you can see wherein all of these are digital products that are already done for you right so you don't need to build any products of your own however if you want to you can do that then there are a couple of free ones as well with with which you can build your list 
people can actually get it to their cart and they can register it for free in the process you get their email address and then you can see all of these are paid ones as well now you can see each product listing is just like amazon and then there are other pages as well like how it works support contact us all of these pages are there and all of these pages uh, remind you are customizable my friend right so there's a complete blog as well if you wish to check this out you can do that now if you want to change any pages you just need to come over to that dashboard and in here you can go over to pages then all pages and from here you can update any and every page that you want to say for example if you want to make any changes to the about us page and change it with your own logo and branding and everything you can just click on edit with dv and you can do that now there are plenty of tutorials how to do that so i'm not getting into it right it's very easy to do the next thing is how to set up your own products so for that we will go over to products click on all products and in here there you can see there are the products which you can update you can update the pricing you can update the delivery as you can see over here these are the files that are going to be delivered so these are digital files now you can add your own files to them as well although it's a done for you system yet it gives you the complete customization thing as well so that's quite cool so you can see over here these are the file url that are going to be delivered to your customers when they buy from you right so if i paste this onto chat gpt just let me do this you can see the done for you gpt has been installed it's very easy right now in here you can use this to create your social media posts financial tips post and write posts to promote monthly uh, newsletters all of these are one click because these are done for you gpts so that's basically how you can set up everything now you would ask me one thing from where i'm going to get this backup right so that question might be the only thing that's coming across your mind because everything else was pretty easy as we saw now to get the backup there are two ways if you are good at wordpress if you are good uh, if you have your own hosting all that you need to do is you can just go down on the description link of this video and click the first link right once you do that it will take you to this product that should look like this as you can see now this is a product on warrior plus and if you scroll down over here you can see exactly what i had shown you now remember this is going to be priced at 37 dollars but there is a coupon code that can save you ten dollars so all that you need to do is kind of exit from here this is a professional tip by the way and once you try to exit you get this ten dollar coupon code right so all that you need to do is copy this coupon code and go over to claim your discount now once you do that you can see this normally priced at 30 97 dollars but through our link it has 37 dollar but then again by applying the discount you can get it at only 27 dollars you can just complete your payment over here you can add your name you can add your paypal account and you can pay it over here check out and boom you are done right so once you do this you will receive the backup file with reseller rights that means you can set up an agency of installing this as well you can't give away the backup file but what you can do is that you can install it on anybody else's website as well so that's completely doable now with this you would get 100 digital products from us 100 softwares with reseller license so that you can actually built in those products right into your store as well apart from that you are also going to get a bunch of courses and a bunch of graphics from us you are also going to get a bunch of done for you mobile apps that you can sell right from within your website so those are going to be our bonuses now remember to claim our bonuses all that you need to do is go down on the description link of this video click the first link which is going to be our affiliate link from where if you make a purchase we get a little commission but in exchange of that we are going to give you the bonuses right to claim the bonuses you need to make the purchase via our link and then send us the purchase receipt on this whatsapp number or on our email id which you can see on screen right now now there is a second way to get all of these which is if you don't have a wordpress hosting now if you don't have a hosting what you can do is that you can buy bluehost via our link which is the second link on the description right you can get it at a very affordable price and once you do get it via our link all that you need to do is contact us on this whatsapp number or contact us over email with your purchase receipt and we are actually going to set up this entire thing for you 
So you don't need to go through all of these steps. You would get a complete done for you set up right into your website. So these are the two ways in which you can create your digital product selling websites in WordPress in minutes, right? And I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this little tutorial. If you have, help me with a like and let me know in the comment section if you have got any questions regarding any part of it. We'll meet again pretty soon somewhere over the internet. Until then, please take care of yourself and your families. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, my friend, then please go ahead and do that because that is not going to cost you a single dime, but it can save you a ton of money. So we'll meet again pretty soon somewhere over the internet. Until then, take care of yourself and your families and don't forget to make money online. Signing off is Cheyenne. Take care. Bye-bye.